What it is, Patrick Klepik. What it was, and oh man, what it will ever be. What it is, brother man. I'll tell you what this is. This is Rocket Bird's Hard Boiled Chicken for the PlayStation Network. This is a game that both of us played several years ago. <laughs> yeah, well, a couple years ago. Uh, this oh, was, I guess uh, it'd be two IGFs ago. Yeah, yeah. So this was uh, this was one of the finalists, uh, or a version of this was one of the finalists in the. Uh, Independent Games Festival is, is how that breaks down, right? Yeah, so the, 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 yeah, the version that was in uh, the IGF was what you can actually, if you go to rocketbirds.com, you can still buy it. Uh, it's, uh, I think, a 10-chapter flash, flash game. That It sounds like the, you know, the version they're showing now, which is coming to PSN, is a, a tweaked, updated, much better version yeah. of that game. Yeah, that one, uh, the full name of that was Rocket Birds Revolution. This was Rocket Birds Hard Boiled Chicken. So, uh, but uh, it, it's mostly uh, a 2D platformer slash shooter. As you can see, uh, it's uh, pretty. It's pretty simplistic mechanically. Uh, I need. I need a name for this. We need. Maybe we have a concept page on the site. If we don't, we should come up with one. But the yeah, take that. Uh, the the feel of uh, the feel of certain two D platformers that have like a very measured pace to the way the character moves and stuff. Like the old Out of This Worlds and where you, and where you know every, where you know every time you press forward, like, you, you you can. Mentally figure out, okay, that's three leaps. Kind of, yeah. This kind of feels like that. Like, like you're, you're, you're going a certain amount of ground every time that you, you're pressing forward. Yeah, there's like a heaviness to the way the character moves. It's not, it's not immediately responsive when you hit the D-pad, but, uh, but it's, got, it's got a weight to the way that he walks around and rolls and all that stuff. So uh, It kind of feels like one of those. Um, Which is a coincidence given that another world is now on the iPad. Yeah. With a uh, revamped games like this look. coming back. This is uh, we're not playing this. I should point out this is uh, uh, part of our brand spanking new what it is format that we've never ever done on this site in any other fashion before. Uh, this is all pre-recorded, so we're just uh, what it is encompasses everything that's right. done on Giant Bomb. What it was, what it will be. Um, this game is a lot of air juggling. Yeah, yeah. You so see, you can juggle the guys. Uh, I think you'll see. Whoop, yep, check that out. So you'll, uh, it you'll seems see like you can juggle them ad infinium. Yeah, Basically, when you get tired of juggling them, stop juggling them. There's a little bit of stealth. That's pretty hide cool. Hide in places like that. Yeah, I think that's that's, that's handled. Cool. That's handled really well. Um, I think there's a part in here where I was seeing how many times I could juggle a guy, and it seems like you could juggle until you run out of ammo. I think that's coming up here in a second. But uh, what is, is there actual ammo? Or is there just the, when the meter? That bar up there is the ammo. Yeah, does I that think, just automatically recharge? Uh, I don't think so. No, because there's those ammo. Oh, there you go. There's like I'm picking You're them right. up off these guys and. Uh, uh, Some really excellent lighting going on in this game. Yeah, for a 2D game. Um, also, some really excellent cutscenes, which uh, unfortunately we can't show much of here. Here is that's like a super quick. Uh, example of what the cutscenes look like. There are some really lengthy ones in here, and the animation is is just great. Uh, seeing the Cause this is that, because I, I believe uh, visual design is what this game ended up winning for yeah. uh, during yeah. the IGF. It's the game is pretty simple. It's not. I don't even know if the air juggling was in the original yeah. Flash game. I I only play. It's again. It's been a while, but this game didn't really win for any sort of gameplay ingenuity. It was like simple, enjoyable gameplay with yeah. this really, it, kind of Shank-like, actually. Yeah, yeah, that's a good comparison, actually. Except, except you know, more shooter than beat em up Sure. Although, I think you can, uh... You Man, can, that is pretty. You can punch guys and stuff. Yeah, it's a really nice looking game. Also, uh, jetpacks. Hey. What? That's mine. Wait for it. What the? Wait for it. Well, it's time for some jetpacks. <laughs> oh yeah, yes he did. Someone please add that to the database Concept immediately. Page. Get on it. Somebody make it as 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 you watch this. Yeah, but it'll also include jetpack joyride. Yep. Uh, yeah, yeah. So I think. And then I love uh, chapter three. It's just that some jetpack. Uh, so this this part is new. Uh, even, even if you played that flash game, you won't have seen this because the jetpack stuff is new in hard boiled chicken. Uh, it's got uh, it's got kind of a weird feel to the to the. Uh, to the flight mechanics here. You hold X to, to zoom around like that. Uh, but it's not dual joystick. You can't shoot in any direction as you fly. You can only shoot the direction that you're pointing. The uh, the physics seem, having to play it a little bit like asteroids? Mm, where yeah, you're... yeah, yeah. You can't, you can't like rotate and turn on a dime. There's a, there's a little bit of an arc to the to the way you move and I, turn. I can respect any game with a ton of They Live references. <laughs> Indeed. So Ro Rocket Birds has already sold me with Obey everywhere. Yep, there you go. Uh, yeah, there's there's this there's this heavy element of propaganda in this game. You're this uh, you're this chicken commando who was brainwashed. You were you were working for this kind of oppressive penguin regime, and then at some point you realize those penguins are evil. Uh, 
which I had never realized. I mean, I you know I saw Happy Feet. I thought that <laughs> I thought the penguins were supposed to be uh, you know pretty pretty friendly, but uh, apparently not. These uh, these penguins are getting their dystopia on their Orwell, I guess. But anyway, yeah, you're you're, you're fighting to, to bring down the penguins, and, and that's these guys. Uh, but it's you know it's it's got everything. There's there's uh, propaganda everywhere. It's got a really uh, kind of specific aesthetic going on, which is it's pretty cool. It seems like uh, one of those games that uh, just the way the, the the backgrounds, the animation setup, that 3D might actually look kind of cool in a game. Oh like yeah, this. It, it, it has 3D actually. Oh, does I it? to mention this has actual you know glasses assisted stereoscopic 3D. Uh, and you're it right. Just, it looks like the layers would pop. So having you know, when I saw Paper Mario, the original tech demo for the 3DS, that was the game that sort of sold me on the idea yeah. and the way you're going into stealth and kind of playing in the environments it seems like this would play really well with it. Yeah, yeah, I mean I'm not, you know, I'm not going to rush out and buy a 3D TV for this, but if you have one, uh, this seems like it would be a good use of it. I don't think we're going to see a lot of it here, but earlier on, uh, if you looked at some of the backgrounds, it's hard, to, it's hard to characterize it, but as, as you move through the environment it's almost like it rotates really subtly around you. Like you'll see the, the, the pieces of the background kind of almost like turning on an axis. Hmm. So it's a really cool effect. You, so right now it's kind of tilting. You can kind of see that, yeah. It's it's more prominent outdoors, and especially when the camera's pulled way out, you can't get a whole lot of it here. But, uh... Take that giant blimp. Where is Roddy Roddy Piper? When does he come? He's DLC? Hopefully, if we're lucky. Uh, this game's out soon. Uh, what does what does soon mean? Matter matter of weeks. Oh, okay. I can't remember the exact date, but uh, it is in the fairly near future. Uh, you know, yeah, little... I mean, the 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 are they talking price point or anything yet? I think. The P <laughs> I should the have written that down. The Flash uh, game is ten dollars. Yes. So I, I would say that's it's, it's, probably. I think it's it's no more than fifteen. It's yeah. ten to fifteen. I I, I wish I, I I sincerely can't remember, and I apologize for that. But uh, here is a uh, here is a, a mind control mechanic, and I can't remember how long it takes to nail this, but you have to hear what the guy says. I gotta take a huge dump. <laughs> <laughs> what? You heard him. They say that every 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 one of them. Every time you take control of one of them, they say that it's super weird. Wasn't sure if that was Drew talking into my headphones nope, nope. or the game saying I've got to take a big dump. That this is, this is exactly what that penguin just said. Oh. Uh, yeah. So this is a uh, this is uh, an example of a level where you do not have a gun. Even when you're playing yourself here, you don't have a weapon. So uh, this this level is all about taking control of other uh, other guys. It's a bit of a puzzle mechanic and on top of the action. Yeah, a little bit, you know, it's pretty light, you know, you move these boxes around, jump on them. No, you may not exit areas assigned to you. <laughs> no, you may not pick up items off the floor. That's great. I believe these guys are the Cardinals, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, I like this idea that, oh, by the way, <laughs> the other weapon for controlled soldiers is kill yourself. Uh, so you select that and you uh, make them kill themselves. I gotta say that uh, you know PSN is not maybe getting the big headline exclusives, but they yeah. seem to be getting quite a bit of really interesting 2D pla like t d side scrolling platformers. That's that game from SOE that we looked at, the space one. Right. Can't remember the name is Richard. Me. Richard. Yeah. Yeah, that game looks great. Uh, this uh, this seems great. I mean, oh, that, that, that's cool. Like the like I said, the gameplay is you know is, is what it is. It's uh, pretty straightforward, but it's just the style of it. Uh, you haven't really heard much or any of it in this footage, but uh, they went and got a man. That is just savage. Uh, they went and got uh, this uh, indie rock band from L.A. called New World Revolution to to do the soundtrack. Uh, so they've got a bunch of like original songs in here that. Uh, Seem like they fit the uh, fit the tone and the and the, the look the, of the game really well. This is a good looking game. Yeah, it really looks great. There's a, we actually we just put up a trailer on the site that's got a bunch of cutscene footage and also some music from that band if you want to get a better sense of uh, what the game looks and sounds like. Well, and that's but, why I I was so interested to see it get it given. You know, it's been so long since I thought about that. Judging for the IGF, remember, look, the game had a really unique style, but it looked nothing. I don't want to say nothing like this, but the backgrounds, like the amount of detail, the lighting is. 
is completely different yeah. in the Flash game because you can buy that game and download and executable, but you're still basically playing a Flash game. Right. And you can get a good sense for the game mechanics, though. If you go to the website, they still have the Flash demo on the website, so you can play the first chapter right. uh, and get a little sense of, of what that game has to offer. Uh, but yeah, they, they seem to have really fleshed it out, uh, especially in the visual department here. Uh, and I think we're uh, about out of time on this footage here, but uh, that's Rocket Bird's Hard Boiled Chicken coming soon. That's, to, what, that's what it is. That's what it is. Right, what it right, was, that's, that's what it was, yeah. And, uh, and what it will be in the next uh, few weeks on PlayStation Network. <laughs> Thanks a lot, Patrick. Oh.